Well, guys, um, thank, thank everybody for coming. We're in for a real treat uh, with Mr. Lynn Blake here, and I'm not going to say anything else. I'm going to just let him go at it. Okay. We appreciate you being here. Perfect. Thank okay. You. All right. Thank you. Well, we're, you know, this is going to be so much fun today. Uh, there's some challenges, obviously, that we have a maybe not the whole spectrum, but we got guys who are really just coming on board, and yet we've got other guys who are already discovering the pot of gold <laughs> at the end of this rainbow. Uh, and my job is to walk some sort of a middle ground so that we can make sense of all this. Uh, and that's a challenge. That is a challenge. Uh, I would say, let's just, let's talk over this period of time. We're going to feel our way along. Ask. Homer said, I thrive on questions. Well, so do I. And, you know, that's part of the art form, too, because you go off in this direction, all of a sudden, you know, you do a U-turn, and then you wind up back at the ranch. So, uh, ask. That's what this is all about. We're going to talk chapter and verse. Yes, uh, I think you're all... Who here is not familiar with the golfing machine? The, but even so, okay, at least you don't think that's Iron Byron, right, or the Ping Man. You know it's a book. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's over here. That's over here. So uh, we do know that, that, that there is a system here. And it's not so much, Tim and I were talking earlier, it's not a method. I mean, a method tends to be a the way. And there are a lot of good methods out there. Most of the methods, obviously, they have their place in the sun. That's why they're recognized as being successful. Uh, but then there are some things in their methods that maybe aren't quite so correct. The main problem they've got is that they're incomplete. There's just big missing pieces. And if you've got those missing pieces, gee, this guy works great. But if you don't have that missing piece, you've got a real problem. The great thing about the golfing machine and its curse is that it's complete. <laughs> have you found anything that's not in? I mean, have you ever, if you ever really got down to studying something, is there anything that's not there? I haven't. And I've been at it for 20 some odd years. So it is complete. But therein, lads, lies its maddening challenge. It is so complete. Uh, who here is authorized? Authorized instructors. So that's 80%. Pareto would be pleased. 80-20 rule. Uh, and uh, then there's a master's class going to be happening here. When is that, Rob? March uh, 14th. So right around the corner. Uh, and how many are going to be participating in that? Chris? You're Chris, right? i got Chris and Tom going together. And it's going to take me a minute, Buzzy, right? It's going to take me a little bit to get all the names, but uh, I'll work on it. You know, name tags would have helped me just a little bit, like, you know, B-O-B. <laughs> I'm in the groups, you know. I got the Bob group, the Steve group, the Tim group, others. I got the David group over here. <laughs> okay. David's just here. <laughs> All right. The hinge action, <laughs> said Homer, of an angular motion on what? an inclined plane. Those are the three major concepts of the golfing machine. On these three, hang the book. Miss any one of these, and you know it won't be long before you'll find yourself in a forest with a whole bunch of trees. But if you have these, then the rest of the book becomes like Dorothy into the land of Oz. Toto, look where we are. <laughs> and it just opens just like a rose petal on a spring morning. Hinge action of an angular motion on an inclined plane. The hinge action controls the club face. Angular motion, we're talking about the club head. And the inclined plane controls the club shaft. Head, face, and shaft, all three functions of the club being controlled with a flat left wrist, a club head lag pressure point, and a straight plane line from address station one to the top station two to the finish station three. That, ladies and gentlemen, is the golfing machine. It is complete. It is complete. Years ago, uh, many years ago, a couple of centuries ago, as a matter of fact, in ancient Rome, the sculptors would do their work. And the statues were beautiful, but some statues were kept in the shadows. Other statues were put out in the bright sun. Why were the ones who were in the shadows? Well, because they had imperfections. And the imperfections were covered with wax. And in the hot sun, the wax would melt and the imperfections would be revealed. The Latin word for no wax is sincere. 
sincere. This statue has no wax. This is the golfing machine. 